Yeah. Hi guys. So this question here, another very good question in this arithmetic question series. Okay. Third question here. X is equal to 4P plus 5Q square plus 6R cube. If P increases by 119.7%, Q raised to 4 by 3 increases by 69% and R square increases by 69%, the percentage increase in X will be. Right. See. So all of the doubt in this kind of question is that will my answer be cannot be determined. Okay. Understand this first first, right? Which question will have CBD as the answer. Now see, for example, if we have if we have numbers like this, for example, let's say x is equal to or equation like this, something like a plus b plus c. Hana, so the direct two scenarios here, right? In the first scenario, what I can do, let's say a will increase by 40%, b will also increase by 40%, and c will also increase by 40%. So that means now the new x will be x will become new value of x will be 1.4a plus 1.4b plus 1.4c. Now, if I take 1.4 common from here, this will be a plus b plus c. So I can say that from, from x is equal to, so from x is equal to a plus b plus c, this has increased to 1.4 into a plus b plus c. That means we have got a 40% increase here. We have got a 40% increase here. Fine. Now, once you've got a 40% increase here in the value of X, so what I can actually, what I can actually understand is if X has got a 40% increase, correct, 40% increase, then in that case, all should have same increase actually. But if the case was like this, for example, if we had X is equal to A plus B plus C. Now, if A will increase by 20%, B will increase by 30%, and C will increase by 40%. For example, all are increasing by different values. So now the new value of X will be 1.2A plus 1.2B, okay, plus 1 point, sorry, 1.3B plus 1.4C. So now I get, now the answer is cannot be determined. So I cannot say that X has increased by what value without knowing the value of ABC here, okay. So in this case, answer is CBD. So I must know the value of ABC. If I don't know the know the value of ABC, I cannot get the answer right. So now, if I understand this, these cases, so now we can proceed to this question here, guys. Right? So this question says that X is equal to 4P plus 5Q square plus 6R cube. So basically, now we already know that P will increase by 11917%. Now, so X is equal to 4P plus 5Q square and plus 6 R cubes. Again, because coefficients are constant, so it won't be affecting my equation. Even if the new X, if I increase the value of P by some 20%, so in the new equation, I can write some 4 into 1.2 P. Correct. So this 4 and 4 will not impact me. Right. So whatever the percent increase in the new equation, also this coefficient will not change. Right. That means the coefficient should, shouldn't bother me actually. Right. Now, if I, if I solve this case further, what I'll be seeing here is that if we have x equal to some 4p plus 5q square plus 6r cube. Okay. Now, p will actually increase by 119.7%. That means the first term actually will increase by 119.7%. That's fine. Okay. But I need to observe for q is square and r cube. What will happen to q is square and r cube, right? So we have studied this in percentage chapter, these, these concepts, right? So it's a good application of this question actually. If you see here, so now we have got Q is square and we have got R cube. Okay, so if I observe here that Q raised to 4 by 3 increases by 69%. So Q raised to 4 by 3 will increase by 69%. What, what is the impact on Q is square? So if Q raised to 4 by 3 increase by 69%, What's the impact on Q is square? That's my question is, right? Okay. So if I understand this, therefore, Q raised to 4 by 3 has become the, basically, how, first I'll try and understand this, how to reach Q raised to Q is square from Q raised to 4 by 3. So just try to manipulate this. Some Q raised to 4 by 3 is here and I want to reach to Q is square. How should I reach? So I can actually do what, therefore? Q raised to 4 by 3, eh? So Q raised to 4 by 3, I can actually multiply by into 3 by 2. Anna, if I actually multiply by 3 by 2, then this 2 and 2 will cancel, 3, 2 and 4 will cancel 2 times, 
थ्री एंड थ्री विल कैंसिल दिस बिकम्स टू स्क्वायर क्यू स्क्वायर करेक्ट सो नाउ सो वंस आई हैव गॉट ऑल दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो लेट्स फिनिश फिनिश दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ ओके चलो सो लुक एट दिस सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके ऑल दिस आर कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन एज दिस सॉल्यूशन देखो नाउ सो आई नो दैट q रेज टू 4 बाय 3 नाउ q स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू q रेज टू 4 बाय 3 इनटू 3 बाय 2 नाउ q रेज टू 4 बाय 3 increases by 69% so can i say that it has become 1.69 times of 3 by under polish 3 by 3 by 2 correct so q raised to 4 by 3 increases by 69% any number if increased by 69% it will become 1.69 times hai na 100% plus 69 increase is 169% that is 1.69 okay now 1.6 to the power 3 by 2 correct If it is one point six nine to the power three by two, so what I can actually observe here is, take care. What we can actually observe here is one point six nine to the power three by two. Yes, look. So I know that it is thirteen square, no? Thirteen square is one sixty nine. Correct. That means one point three square really one point six nine. Okay. Now I can just break this, guys. One point six nine. So actually, I can just break this. Like one point six nine, ah, power one into one point six nine power half. I can do that. So, because a raised to three by two will be equal to what? A into a raised to half. Because we know that when base is same, power gets added. One plus half is three by two. I know this. So one point six nine power one, one point six nine power half. Correct. Now, what is one point six nine power half? So I know that. 1.3 square is 1.69. So 1.69 into power half means what? The square root. So since it is 1.3 k square, it becomes what? 1.69 into 1.3. So it is actually 1.69 into 1.3, right? Now I can actually write this as what? 1.69 is 1.3 square into 1.3, and is actually 1.3 cube now. What is 1.3 cube? It is 13 cube is 2197. So 13 cube is 2197. So 1.3 cube is 2.197. Understand this, guys? So now q square has become 2.197 times since q raised to 4 by 3 becomes 1.69 times. 1.69 times due to 69 percent increase. Q square has become 2.197 times. Now again, what you do here? For example, इसको छोटा करके सोचो। मान लो if Q square has become 1.5 times. So what you do? What you do here? You you so, you subtract from one, right? So 1.5 times means 1.5 minus one is 0.5. So Q square has increased by 0.5. So 0.5 increase means what? 50 percent increase. We do this, right? है ना? If any number has got 50 percent increase. We say 1.5 times. It has become 1.5 times. If 10 increase by 50 percent, then it becomes 15. It has become 1.5 times. Correct. So now, so again, what I can say here is, for example, now, so if q is square has become 2.197 times, so what's the increase? The increase will be the increase will be 2.197 minus 1. That is 1.197. 1.197 in decimal, right? In percent is how much? Multiply by 100. That becomes what? 119.7 percent increase. Okay. Why multiply by 100? Same thing. Because 0.5 times means what? Multiply by 100. That is 50 percent increase. So decimal to fraction just multiply by 100, right? So 0.2 means what? Multiply by 100. 20 percent increase. Similarly. Two one point one nine seven is what multiply by hundred one one nine point seven percent increase right so what I got here guys I got that q square has also increased by one one nine point seven percent okay now I look at the third one guys now uh, r square will increase by sixteen percent okay now from r square we actually will try to connect this to r q okay so if r square as Is in has increased by if r is square has increased by one one uh one one uh sorry r square is increased by sixty nine percent. 
I need to look up for R cube here, ना मुझे R cube देखना है, right? Now, understand this R is square, so R is square has increased by sixty nine percent. So R is square. Uh, how to reach R cube? How to reach R square to R cube? Like we reached here, no? How I, we thought that how to reach Q raised to uh, Q is square to Q raised to four by three. That's the way I got right. Similarly here also I'll see R square to R cube. What is R cube, guys? So R cube uh, will reach from R square. Will basically will be R square into something like R, है ना? So that is R square and square root of R square will be actually R cube. What is R square? Once R square has increased by sixty nine percent, what's the value? It becomes one point six six nine times. Okay, it becomes one point six nine times, and R square under root. So one point six nine under root will hurt. It will be again one point three, right? So one point six nine into one point three. This is one point three is square. This is one point three. This is one point three cube. That is again two point one nine seven. That is again. That's by the same logic again. One one nine point seven percent increase. That means. All the three terms here will increase by one one nine point seven percent. If all the three terms will increase by one one nine point seven percent, then my overall value of x will also increase by one one nine point seven percent. That's the answer for this question C. Okay, we just we we discussed this example in the, in the at the starting of the video, right? That whenever x is equal to a plus b plus c. If all are increasing by same percentage, then only only we can answer. Otherwise, answer will be cannot be determined. So same thing happened here. If P is increasing by one one nine point seven percent as given in this question, okay, then Q raised to four by three will again increase by six nine percent. That basically means that Q square will increase by this much and as R cube by this much. That means all are increasing by same value. So overall X will also increase by one one nine point seven percent. It's a fantastic question here, guys. Superb question. Okay, so thank you for watching, and we'll continue this series in arithmetic. We'll we are doing very good questions for arithmetic, and we'll continue the series. Okay, till at least fifty questions. Okay, thank you.